Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, Marathon Beer Reviewing 2016 continues and Today we are checking out a beer from Other Half and Trillium, and I am stoked on this one. This is 100,000 Trillium. Um, this is the second can. Trillium is canning now, by the way, which is fantastic. This is the second canning they did. They did uh, Trillikini, I think, with Evil Twin. I did not get any of that beer. And then they did this collab with Other Half, um, 100,000 Trillium. It is a 6.3% India Pale Ale aged on mango, apricot, and peach. And this can art, it's so simple. It's just a bunch of... What do you call that? Just numbers that are, you're just counting. I don't even know how, to, what, is, what are those called? <laughs> I don't even know what those are called. It's just when you're counting by fives. Why is that? Is there, a, I don't know, is there a name for that? I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, this was brewed at Trillium, canned at Trillium. Seriously, Trillium is canning beers. That is amazing. Because before they were, all you could buy was 20, what are they, 25.4 ounce bottles or whatever. They're huge bottles and Unless you were sharing it, like you were committed to getting hammered drinking a trillion beer. Um, but now with these 16 ounce pints, it is awesome. So um, I haven't seen any reviews of this. I didn't look it up. I'm really, really excited about this one. Canned on 624 and it says swagger like us. <laughs> no one on the corner has swagger like us. What song is that? Is that the chick that's saying, uh, what's that girl's name? I can't remember. Anyways, uh, shout out to my man Leo for hooking this one up. Thank you, sir. I love you. I'm, I have no problem saying that. I love you. You're the best. So, yeah. This whole marathon beer reviewing thing has been fun. Having a good time. <laughs> uh, we here at Jow's Arcade and Beer Review do not uh, advocate binge drinking. But you know what? When you have beers you have to review, you just do it. And you share with your wife and you share with friends who come by. There's been people in and out today. We're going to watch the fights tonight. It's UFC 200 tonight. So there you go. Um, and that pours like straight pineapple juice. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> that's insane. It's weird. Like the last couple beers I've poured, I'm not pouring them crazy aggressive so we're not getting a whole lot of head on it. There we go. There's like a finger of just bright white, pillowy, fluffy head. Um, there's glass lacing, not a whole lot of alcohol legs though. I mean, 6%, 6.2%, you wouldn't expect that. But yeah, it looks awesome in the glass, so. Um, I like other half beers. I don't, <clears throat> it's weird, I've reviewed some other half beers. I don't seek them out for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. I've, I mean, I like their beer. I love me some Trillium beer, so. Hopefully this collaboration is something awesome, so. Let's go ahead and shove our nose in it. <laughs> and it, it's fucking tropical fruit juice. That's crazy. I mean, when you're aging stuff on mangoes and, and apricots and peaches, like, what do you expect it to smell like? It smells like a basket of fruit. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry for that. I don't, I don't think I could, wow. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. I don't think I could like pick, pick those out like in order one by one, but it just smells like a smoothie. It's like a, it just smells like you took a bunch of tropical fruits and put them in a blender and blended them. I would say peach is the dominant, um, the dominant like smell in this, but it does. It smells like juice. It's, it's just, it's tropical fruit smoothie, but it's peaches for days. I'm not getting any malts either. Like, how are these guys doing this? How are they just brewing fucking cans of juice? It's nuts. Nick, what's the, what's the secret, bro? You're a Trillium guy now. Do you still watch beer reviews? Let us know. I can't believe I missed you a trillion, by the way. That just breaks my heart. But yeah, it smells like a smoothie. It smells like you blended up a bunch of fruit in a glass. There's no malts. I mean, you're not smelling alcohol. But I say this in other reviews. Like, you could blindfold people and have them smell this. There's no way anyone would say this was beer. So yeah, it's, it is. It's tropical fruit juice. So let's go and dig in. Leo, thank you, sir. Cheers. That's so good. That's insane. It's just juice throughout too. Sometimes with Trillium beers, I've talked about this on other um, reviews, I get like that spicy kind of yeasty thing. Not in this one. <laughs> this is dumb. It tastes like juice. There's uh, There are some people who will drink this and say they probably want more of like a malt presence. It doesn't taste like beer. There, it doesn't. There's nothing resembling beer in this. It literally tastes like juice. 
like carbonated, like a like a bottle of like fruited like Perrier or something. Perrier, Perrier. What's the what's like the water whatever? I don't know how to say that word. It is. It's a smoothie in a glass. That's insane. It's still peaches. Yeah. It's. I would say, yeah, peaches and mangoes. I don't taste any of the uh, apricot. I'm not a real big apricot eater, though, so I don't. I, I wouldn't be able to pick that note out. <clears throat> peaches for sure, mangoes for sure. There's just a just an ever so slight bitterness that kind of hangs out on your tongue for a second, and then like that juice just comes back again. It's like, oh, it's juice. Doesn't taste like beer. This is so good. <laughs> this is so good. I love this. It's insane. Like I don't know how. I don't know. There's so many beers from Trillium, and I don't know. Like when when brewers are doing a collaboration, you're doing it at Trillium. Like, is it is it really like an other half and a Trillium beer, or is it just like a dude from other half comes and hangs out and like this tastes like a Trillium beer? It doesn't taste like any other half beer I've ever had. So, and that's not to slight other half. I just, I mean, I would say this is a Trillium beer. What like what's I don't know. When there's a collaboration, is it really like? I don't know. I don't know. This beer is dumb. Mouth feels awesome. Medium, medium plus. It is. There's just like a faint hint of like bitterness on the back end of that with all that just fruit smoothie that kind of just reminds you, hey, it's not juice that you're drinking. It's alcohol. This is ridiculous. So, so good. Um... <clears throat> Is this a hundred? I don't know. I guess if, if you have to ask, it's not. So it's really, really high A though. I love this. I could drink these all day. They're out of these now. So you'd have to trade for this, but I wish I would have got like 30 quads of this. <laughs> it would have been pricey. I will say Trillium cans are pricey. They are pricey, but holy fuck, this is good. 99, it's damn near perfect. Maybe the mouth feels a little, the mouth feels good. I mean, it's just not, I don't know. That's not, it's not a perfect beer. It's not something that I'm just like, that's the greatest beer, one of the greatest beers I've ever had, but it's really, really, really fucking good. So I think 99 is a good score. It's like the highest of the like world-class beers without being like in the, like when you're talking about like being in the, the same sentence as like green, King Julius, King Jigga Julius, all those like crazy hunnets that we give. This beer is close, but it's not. It's not 100. I'm gonna go 99. This beer is ridiculous. So, uh, yeah, that's 100,000 trillion from Trillium and other half, and that can is awesome. I like that a lot. So, uh, if you guys were fortunate enough to get your hands on this, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. I love this beer. I'm going 99. It's fantastic. So, another amazing beer from Trillium and other half. Like I said, I don't know. I, I would say this is a Trillium beer. Sorry, other half. I still love you guys. So. Yeah, that's it. I'm out of here. Uh, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Cheers. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.